Hello, Meg. Hello, Meg. Looks like all three of you dogs are in the house now. Oh, yeah. Three dogs, one cat, and two birds, Ella. Yep. Here comes Moose now. That's quite a menagerie. And I think Mel's in the kitchen. No, Mel's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he was in the kitchen. Hi, Mel. Now Meg's in the kitchen. The like little devil. They're just exploring. Like 10 minutes. Yeah, you got you dogs got 10 minutes before you guys are going to bed. The dogs have an earlier bedtime than us. That's right, because by the time they settle down, you know, mm -hmm. you have to give them time. Yeah. So this will be... This will be our last time seeing d our dogs for tonight. That's right. T the next time we see them will be tomorrow. Ella, there's two books on the table. Pick the one we're going to read tonight. Two. There's two books somewhere? Yeah. Oh, Lily's peeking from the stairs. Yeah, but she won't come down. That's probably because of Moose and Meg, probably. I think so. Dylan's over here in the uh, dining room. Hi, Dylan. Cool. Hi, Dylan. You're such a good cat. I didn't know about Tina. You're so glad I have you as my cat. I just asked you about it. Huh? I, I feel bad for you that you're the only cat here, but you're a good boy. <laughs> All right, so Graham said there are two books on the table. Wait, Grams, are the books in one of the bags on the table? No, they're actually on the table, I believe. I don't, I don't see anything on oh, here. the actual table. Oh, they're underneath there. I'm sorry. They're underneath where? Underneath that pile of toys, like the. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got. I gotta turn the lights on. Right. Okay. So it looks like our book options are Winter, A Solstice Story, or The Christmas Owl. Okay. So, so we're either gonna read Winter, A Solstice Story by Kelsey E. Gross tonight. And the Christmas Owl by Alan Kalish and Gideon Steer tomorrow night, or we read the or we read the Christmas Owl by Ellen Kalish and Gideon Steer tonight, and Winter a Solstice Story by Yeah, I'm thinking out loud. Or and Winter a Solstice Story by Kelsey Eagles tomorrow. Any mini mini mo catch or take advice to if you holler seven and go. Any mini mini mo. Alright, I picked out a book. So, the two books were The Christmas Owl and A Winter, A Solstice Story. Which book do you think I grabbed? I don't know. I don't know. Can you well, just like make a guess? I saw her. You could be right or you could be wrong. It doesn't matter. She was a very, very depressed old, bitter old woman. Moose, get out of here. Hey. Get out of the dishes. Yep, that I know. Which book, Grams, do you think I grabbed? The Christmas Owl or Winter of Solstice Story? Uh, let me think about it. Make a guess. I'm going to say The Christmas Owl. You're right. Very good. See, I know you. I know my girl. Yep, you're right. So we'll. So that means Winter of Solstice Story will be tomorrow's book. Tomorrow night's book.
You give me 90 like grandma, eight. or 92 like grandpa. What a gift. This is, this is my last this is my last video with the dogs. Last YouTube video for today. Hey, miss. See what the other dogs are up to. Aww. Mel is laying right next to you, being a good boy. Hi, Mel. You're such a good boy. Yes. And you're such a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, you're such a good girl. Mel and Megan are right by Mr. Grandpa. While Moose is over here doing the dishes. <laughs> Cleaning the dishes with his tongue, which is actually very gross. Because well, Mr. Grandpa doesn't think that's gross, but... Do you think it's gross? It sort of uh, grosses me out, but Ella... What? Yeah. Dogs are have their mouth on people's things. And I said, you and Megan and Mess, let the dogs finish your plates. Oh, absolutely. I'll do that. Do you, Nick? Yeah. Oh gosh, what's wrong with the rest of the world? Matter of fact, she knows I'm going to do that. Like if I take a bowl of cereal in, in the, my chair, she stands there until it's all, because she knows she's going to be able to lick the, the bowl. And on Christmas, Megan takes a piece of the fake turkey roast and she uses a charade. And then she uses the fork for the rest of her meal. Well, that's, she's been doing that for a long time and hasn't. hasn't Megan's heard. coming to see you, Mr. Megan, what Rainbow. is this for? Just want to put it where it belongs. That's uh, probably because Megan. Right here. Yeah. That's what I thought. The reason, Me the reason Megan's coming to Mr. Grandpa is because she likes men she does more like than women. And here goes Moose in the kitchen again. Well, the dishwasher is closed, so he's not going to get too much right now. Grams is right. You're not going to get much dishes, dishes, Moose. Not much hey. business right now. Well, let me try to get more of the lights on. I think, I think your dad needs light bulbs, honey. I think that's what he told Mr. Uh, oh, my God. Most of the light bulbs probably have been burned out. I think so. Usually when one burns out, they all burn out. Because you usually put them in at the same time, you know? Yeah. I actually got the bowls. I just have to put them in. That is actually right. You just have to put the bulbs in. Yeah. Nick, I don't know where you put your sharp knives anymore, and I can't reach that thing on your refrigerator, so I'm just going to leave them there. Who's that? Are the Clorox wipes on the counter? Yep. The one yes. thing I okay. hear you give about me your, um, right there. Yes, give me your uh, Fitbit. Okay. We'll see if that will help. At least, like I said, you can put it on your other wrist for tonight. If I want to. If you want to. Um, I mean... The left arm looks a little better because technically it's getting lighter in color. What do you think? It might be. I, I, like I said, I haven't seen it since November. This is what it looks like now. I think it looks better a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm going to put that cream on Boxing. that I bought for Lil. Here's the Fitbit. Just make sure you only put the wipes on the band part, okay, not know, on the honey. screen part. I know. I think this could help. Don't put it on until I... We go upstairs and I'll put the... Until we go upstairs? And I put the, I put the cream. The skin cream that I got for Lil a while ago. Right? That should sit anyway and let it get totally dry. Can you bring the Fitbit upstairs when it gets close to bedtime? Absolutely. Thank you. Because I need it for my sleep scores. Yes, absolutely. What? What? Is Moose out there? Yeah, he's right here with us. Oh. What do you think? He ran away? Yeah, relax. 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 I'm happy to 
remember that, Ellen, because Graham's forgetting. You know, oh, we have a little over an hour. A little, like, maybe a little less than an hour, actually. Yeah. Or maybe a little more than an hour, actually. And no, we have no rush tomorrow. We have nothing to do except... I'm going to do except, a manicure and pedicure. Maybe just a manicure, as you said. Yeah, probably. And do and get food from Luca's. And drink, get our meal from Luca's. And then... Wait, are we eating in the Lucas restaurant or are we door dashing from no, that? No, no, no. I'm going to order and go and pick it up. Oh, so we're eating it at home? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Mel is being a good boy, Grams. Yes, he is. Mel, is he sneezing for you, Coke? What? Is he sneezing for you? No. Maybe he's allergic to Grams, Ella. He can't be. He, no. he was cuddling with you and he didn't get much allergies. I know. I'm just teasing. I know you're teasing. You know, my parents all didn't believe in anything. They didn't believe in allergies. Meg! Leave Dylan alone, please. And they lived to be 90 and 92. Wow. They didn't believe in allergies. They didn't believe in being crazy about your health. This is what Moose and Megan do in their free time. Just spending time with Grams. As you see, Grams, Moose is behind you. Yep. That's okay by me. I love my dogs. Meg is over here. She is... She's Ella, are you doing a documentary about life in, at 502 Red Wine Avenue? You know what a documentary is? What is it? It's like a report. Oh. Like a news report. Oh. Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, they really were. Just be honest. Well, they were, and they were so obviously trying to skirt around the, the question. What are you talking about, Tom? This is Harvard's talk. MIT. Yeah. MIT. Just be honest. honest. The parakeets are chirping over here. Hey, Sunshine and Sky. What are you guys up to? Good evening. You can. Update on the dogs. There's Mel with Mr. Grandpa in love with him. There's Meg. She's jumping up to Grams. And Moose, he is by Grams as well. Oh, it's time. It's time for bed, dogs. All right, gonna have to say good night to all the dogs. Good night, Megan. Good night, Moose. Good night, Megan. Good night, Moose. Good night, Mel. Good night, Mel. Sleep tight, guys. Sleep tight, dogs. What did we say, Ella? Good night, God bless you. Good night, God bless you, dogs. Nope. We'll see you in the morning, buddy. See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, dogs. And they are now going to bed. Good night. Good night, Good. I'm saying good night to the dogs. I know. Good night, dogs.